So the Rewind trial was a cardiovascular outcome trial with dilaglutide 1.5 milligrams weekly uh, in people with type 2 diabetes, either who had established cardiovascular disease or who had risk factors for cardiovascular disease. And in fact, in this study, uh, only about a third of the patients actually had established cardiovascular disease. So this is a population of patients that looks very much like the sort of patients that we would see in diabetes clinics up and down the country. Uh, the trial ran for uh, about five years and over that time what the main findings were there was a reduction in the three-point MACE which is major cardiovascular events uh, of around 12 percent uh, and there were reductions in all the components of the MACE although only the stroke reduction was uh, statistically significant. I think this is uh, really important. It adds to the other three trials that we've already heard about with GLP-1 receptor agonists in people with type 2 diabetes uh, and shows uh, that as a class this group of drugs are certainly safe and also beneficial from a cardiovascular perspective. I think it's important to think about the fact that this study uh, didn't include quite so many people with established cardiovascular disease as some of the other studies and I think this extends uh, the benefits of GLP-1 receptor agonists beyond uh, those very high risk patients that were predominated in some of the other studies uh, to a much broader population of people with type 2 diabetes uh, and overall this is uh, good news uh, for people with diabetes. It's interesting uh, that uh, some of the guidelines now have already changed and are making a big difference uh, to uh, people, the treatment of people with diabetes with established cardiovascular disease uh, because most of the, for example, the ADA ESD guidelines uh, advise uh, where there is a concern and significant cardiovascular disease that GLP-1 receptor agonists should be considered uh, along with SGLT2 inhibitors. However, I think this uh, the study, the results of Rewind do suggest that it might be worth considering introducing these agents at an earlier stage in treatment, uh, certainly in patients who have significant risk factors. A second paper published at the same time uh, and also presented at the ADA looked at the renal outcomes of uh, the Rewind study. Uh, and the renal outcome uh, looked at composite of improvements in albuminuria as well as improvements in renal function. Uh, and there were modest improvements in both of these uh, measures uh, during the course of the study. There was also uh, a careful look made at uh, adverse effects, including uh, potential for retinopathy, as this was uh, an adverse effect that was seen in some patients in the SUSTAIN-6 study with semaglutide. Uh, and in the Rewind study, there wasn't actually an increase seen in uh, retinopathy, uh, although uh, the improvements in glucose control were perhaps a bit less than was seen with SUSTAIN. So overall, I think this is very positive news uh, for people with diabetes. We have yet another GLP-1 receptor agonist, uh, this time a once-weekly uh, treatment, uh, which is able to reduce cardiovascular events, improve renal outcomes, and make a real difference to the life of people with diabetes.